Seth Brown, Harrison, Junior. Before Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I just want to give a shout-out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Money Brown TV. Yeah. 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 Yo, 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 what's going on out there, fight? Well, this your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on Big John Fury coming out blasting his son, you know, Tyson Fury, um, the former unified heavyweight world champion and the current WBC heavyweight world champion. We all know he's one of the biggest stars over in the UK. Then we got Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, who is the former WBC heavyweight world champ, looking to re re regain his title when he take on Tyson Fury, you know, in a trilogy. Now, Big John Fury has came out. And he's saying a lot of things about his son, Tyson Fury, saying he's over in Miami with a bunch of yes mans. He's not focused. You understand what I'm saying? He's not focused. And, uh, you know, he's just going against him. Like, he's not listening. He's over there doing what he want to do, um, you know. And, and Big John Fury ain't taking a liking to it. So I want y'all to listen to it. Y'all know Monty Brown will come back with the great assessment. Y'all listen to this. Obviously, he's in a different league now. 20,000 yes men around him. You know, this is what happens. I think when you get to the top. There's a lot of leeches out there, a lot of hangers on. As you can see what's happening in, in America with him. Appalling work, to be honest with you, but that's just my opinion, but I'm straightforward. But that's Tyson's business. He's over 21. It's up to him. Do you want to say it's more? diabolical, isn't it? You know, you, you're geared up to fight one man, and all of a sudden, on the 11th hour, it's all sorted in 24 hours. He's signing contracts in the hall of a boxing venue. You know, they're, they're around him like Lucas. You know, and I, I think to myself, you know, how can you think straight with all that round you? It's, for my mind, it's a mistake. It's a mistake. We can blame his team, can't he? No one else. Anything rushed is no good, and that's been rushed. He was fighting AJ. I wanted to fight AJ. I'm no interest in Deontay Wilder. So why has he got to fight Wilder? I told him on a phone conversation, chuck the belt in the bin, let him have it, come back and fight AJ on the 14th of August, like was planned. But who am I? I'm nobody, unfortunately. A voice that only certain amount of people hear. And because you don't drive a Rolls Royce living in a castle, it falls on deaf ears, doesn't it? As you can see, Big John Fury wanted no parts of this man, Deontay Wilder. He didn't want a Fury to fight this man. He wanted him, you know, to, um, you know, drop the belt, drop the WBC, let Wilder get the WBC, let him go either fight somebody for it or, or retain a high retainer. He wanted him to go up against, um, you know, Anthony Joshua on the 14th of August. But now he's dealing with this man right here, Deontay Wilder. Ain't no getting away from it. It ain't no getting away from him, Big Fury. This is the fight he was supposed to fight. This your son being a man stepping up to the plate. But what he's saying is his son is not listening. He's not paying attention. He's over there. He's listening to his team. Big Fury got a, um, you know, I ain't going to say he got a problem with listening to his team, but he's saying his team is putting his ass in trouble. You feel me? You're supposed to be fighting um, Anthony Joshua, getting ready for Anthony Joshua. You got to turn around and fight Deontay Wilder. You feel me? He's saying that this man is not focused over there. He got 20,000 yes mans around him. Um, and, you know, just America and Miami are swallowing Tyson Fury up. He said this is what he does when he's reached his stage. So he's done this before. So what he's saying is Tyson Fury out here bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Running around, doing this, doing that. And it, it's, it's, not, it's not good for him. That's what Big John Fury trying to say. It's not good for him. But he's saying that he's, he don't listen to me because I don't drop a Rolls Royce and live in a castle. You know, I ain't got a big ass mention that, you know, I'm just a voice. I ain't your pops right now, you know, but he got to take on this man, Big John. I understand what you're saying. I feel that you fear for your son's life and um, you're trying to give him some good advice. But a grown man is going to be a grown man. You know what I mean? You can't get away from this man either way. You can't get away from this man. And it seemed like Big Fury, Big John Fury wanted him to fight um, the, um, Anthony Joshua. And then after Anthony Joshua, he wouldn't go fight Deontay Wilder. He wouldn't go fight Wilder. Even if he would have beat Joshua, he probably would have got the belts and went and fought a mandatory or somebody with the, with the other titles. You know what I mean? But it, this just, you know, the universe coming back, bro. You can't get away from what you're supposed to do, dog. When you know you're on a contract, you got to fight somebody, you got to be a man of your word. You got to be a man of your word. And whether um, Fury wanted to be a man of his word or not, to me, that's just the universe turning and, 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 and the stars aligning. The universe is turning and the stars are lining. Y'all know I can't lie. I got to keep it trill. You feel me? I got to keep it trill. They figured out. A, they try to find a way. Not figure out. They try to find a way to get away from Deontay Wilder. They try to find a way not to fight that third fight. And it was for a reason, man. Come on, y'all. Y'all got to put two and two together here. It ain't just because they wanted to fight Anthony Joshua. That ain't the case. 
Because you could have been for Anthony Joshua. That could have been happened way before the Deontay Wilder shit, way before the first Deontay Wilder fight. They could have been fought. You feel me? It's a reason why they're trying to get out of that third fight. But things are back now. Things are back now. Ain't no getting away. Ain't no getting away. Now, what's going on with Tyson Fury and his father? I don't know. You feel me? I don't know. That's something that the Fury's going to have to work out. But it seems like that, you know, Big John Fury wants his son to listen to him more, and he feel like he can't control him. You know? Um, Tyson Fury in his 30s now. Who knows how, how their relationship went when he was younger? We don't know, bro. We don't know. Is Big John Fury controlling? Has he controlled Tyson Fury for the majority of his career when he was young? Was he hard on the man when he was young? Now Fury breaking the way he getting freedom. He can do what he want to do. We don't know how these people grew up. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't for me to judge. It ain't for me to question because I don't have the answers. You feel me? I don't have the answers. But what I could say is this. You know, Tyson Fury is in a professional, uh, 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 he's in a, the sport um, of professional boxing. You understand what I'm saying? He's in the sport of professional boxing, and us the fans understand what's going on when we see certain things. You feel me? We do know that they signed a contract for a trilogy. We do know that this fight poster took place in September, I mean, sorry, November of 2020. You understand what I'm saying? But we do know that the, the, the pandemic pushed it back. You feel me? We do know that they tried everything in, in, in their powers to get away from Deontay Wilder from that trilogy. We do know that they went to mediation and they lost. And we do know that they're going to have that fucking rematch in July. And I think it's July 24th, if I'm not mistaken, in Las Vegas. You feel me? So, Big John Fury, I think you need to probably try to do the best you could to get on board with your son. You understand what I'm saying? The, the the contract is signed. It didn't sound like he was too thrilled about him signing that contract. He's, he's talking to the team like they set his son up for failure or something. I mean, just listen to the way he talks, bro. He don't sound too confident. He don't sound too confident in his son going into that ring defeating Deontay Wilder for, you know, a second, a second time around because the first one was a draw. You know what I'm saying? Defeating Deontay Wilder a second time around. I'm just telling you how, how, how I'm assessing it and what I look at it as. You understand me? He's saying his son, he, he know his son. He know his son better, better than any of us. He know his son better than any of us, bro. And he's saying that his son's head is not on straight. His son's head is not on straight. Not being in Miami, being around what, he, what he's been around. You hear what he's saying, bro? 20,000 yes mans around him. This what he does. You know, when he gets to that level, he stopped listening to me. I got to put in all the hard work to put him in position. You understand? But who am I? I'm just a voice. I'm just a voice. Because I don't drop a Rolls Royce and live in a castle. I'm a nobody. So he's saying Tyson Fury taking, taking advice from people who got to be up there, um, you know, in a, in, a, in a situation that's higher than him. You feel me? So that's what happened, man. That's what happened. When you get to a certain plateau and you think you know it all and you stop listening to the real team, bad things happen. Bad things happen. I mean, history shows us that, bro. History shows us that. But like I said, once again, I don't know the relationship with Big John Fury and Tyson Fury. We don't know what type of terms they're on right now. But I do know this. If Tyson Fury is not focused, if he's not dedicated to this third fight, if he's not putting in the hard work that he's supposed to be putting in, once he get into that ring with Deontay Wilder, it ain't going to be nothing nice. It ain't going to be nothing nice. You feel me? So hopefully his team do got him on the right track. Hopefully it's his team is putting him in a position to win. Hopefully they is telling him the right things. You know what I'm saying? That that big John Fury um, assuming that he will be telling him. You feel me? Something ain't right. Something ain't right. And big John Fury don't like it, man. He don't like it. I'm telling you, he don't like it. So we will find out. We will find out. But J big John Fury has came out, man. He has spoken. Like he said, he's straightforward. He don't hold nothing back. He tell the truth how it is, and I can respect that man. I can respect that man for coming out and speaking his truth. You feel me? Speaking his truth and what he see and what he believes and not hold nothing back. Because if you're not telling your son the truth and you just going alone to get along, you understand me? Like Kwame Brown said, to go alone, get along game, just to fit in, just to get what you're going to, well, trying to get up out of him. Because like I said, there's a bunch of leeches around him. You feel me? Then you're not doing that man no justice. You're not doing him a, 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 a good service. You're doing him a disservice. 
You're doing him a disservice. You feel me? Because Deontay Wilder is not joking, bro. Boxing is not a game. This is not a game, and that man is out for blood. That man won't pay back. That man wants to hurt Tyson Fury, and he want to hurt him bad. You understand what I mean? He want to hurt him bad. And if Tyson Fury going to that ring, listen to his team, and they not giving him the right advice, then I'm trying to tell you, man, that shit go turn out ugly for Tyson Fury. It's going to turn out ugly. You know what I'm saying? Because D is not joking. He is not playing around. He's not leaving no stone unturned. He's working his ass off. These people can play and crack jokes all they want to. They can play and crack jokes all they want to. You feel me? Talk about um, Malik Scott like he's a nobody because you don't know him. And you don't know that that man know the game the way he know the game. You clown. You feel me? Think Deontay out here playing when he working his ass off. They can eat joking. They can eat joking. You know what I'm saying? So Tyson Fury better have his head on straight. He better have his head on straight. You feel me? His team better be telling him the right shit. Because Big John Fury, the way he's talking, um, Tyson Fury, ain't, he ain't no point. He ain't no, he ain't no point. So he better get on point. He better be ready. Because your life's around the corner, my brother. It's around the corner. And if you ain't ready, that's going to be on you and your team. That's going to be on you and your team. Like Big John Fury say, blame his team. Blame his team because that's who he's listening to. You know what I'm saying? That's who he's listening to. So we will find out, man. Like I say, the father has came out and spoken. He's, a, he's in fear for his son's life. He's in fear for his son. I mean, um, his son's title. Once you step into that ring with Deontay Wilder, because it's on. It's on. You feel me? At the end of the day, we will find out. July's around the corner. Everything was showing the ring. I got Deontay Wilder by knockout. And we'll just see if Tyson Fury on this shit or not. But shouts out to Big John Fury for coming out speaking his truth. I can respect that. Until then, it's your boy Monty. This is the NSBC moving. Ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Monty on Cash App. TreyHampton52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video. Y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.